Today's term is protocols. What are protocols? A protocol is a set of rules for transmitting data between electronic devices. Let's take the following scenario. Let's pretend I would like to transmit data or a message to a friend of mine. For that to happen, we need to use syntax and grammar to express this information or data. But if she doesn't know the same rules and syntax and grammar that I'm using, then whatever I say will sound like gibberish to her. So therefore, we can't communicate. And if we can't communicate, we can't share information. But if we agree on a set of rules for syntax and grammar and agree on the language to communicate, when I say something, she will understand. And that way, we can communicate a lot more efficiently. That is the basic gist of a protocol. In protocols, there are lots of different types of protocols that communicate in different ways. So let's look at the ones that are covered for email. You get SMTP, which is a simple mail transfer protocol, which is designed for the sending of email. Then you get POP3 or the post office protocol that is for the downloading of an email. And now we have IMAP, Internet Message Access Protocol, which is a protocol where email clients retrieve messages from the mail server. All of these are rules to help devices communicate via email in their special way. Another type of protocol, protocols revolving around web or internet. So let's take HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol. That is the communication or transfer of web pages. Now there's another one called HTTPS, which is exactly the same, except for it is secure. In other words, the communication is encrypted so that it's safer to communicate between the two electronic devices. You also get a protocol called FTP, called File Transfer Protocol, which is designed for the transfer of files over the internet, particularly large files. But these days, a lot of people use cloud storage to do it instead. Then you have VoIP, or Voice Over Internet Protocol, which is the protocol that allows you to do phone calls over the network. This is, for example, a Skype call or WhatsApp call. TCP or IP, Transmission Control Protocol, or the Internet Protocol, the communication protocols used in the Internet in the transfer of packets to get information from one end of the Internet to the other. And then Telnet. Telnet is a protocol that allows the user to log on to another computer on the same network. There are lots of different protocols, but these are the main ones that you might come across. To communicate more efficiently with us, click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Tell us what terms you want us to cover. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.